Yeah, I'm actually excited to see what this dog familiar looks like. Get the shit out of my way. Judging by the bodies arrayed before, this blockade was constructed to stop the Royalists from reaching the top of the bluffs. And I destroyed it with a single swipe. Yes, I did. Because I'm a dick. The soldier died from multiple arrow wounds. Clearly a victim of the blockade you just passed. His armor indicates that he was part of the Royalist Army, the last defenders of Queen Rosalind and her court. Ooh, boy. Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. Oh, cool. General Devoncy is further on ahead. Just follow the path. All right, cool. Jane will send her army against the Blizzard Elf soon. Jane's Our war is done. done the day, it seems. Oh, man. These dead soldiers have been laid in rows, their faces washed and armor arranged for burial. The loyalists lack the time for proper rites, but they have clearly made efforts to give their fallen comrades some measure of respect. Well, I gotta talk. I didn't want to talk to him right away. Oh my god, he looks weird. Never mind. Nice fucking curly mustache, dude. Call the general with her majesty's army lying dead all around us. Sorry. Lord Devoncy, sir. Forgive the boy. A few months ago he was a royal page. Now he's a soldier. Such are the depths to which we have fallen. I'm surprised to see any travelers on the road with so many of Jane Cassinda's soldiers about. What brings you to this ill-omened place? We were sent by the Legion. We're heading south to reclaim the old chapter house in Stonebridge. Hmm. The Legion? So the rumors are true. A gathering in the north. The rebirth of the old legion. That's beside the point, though. I'm afraid you're stuck here with the rest of us. Huh. The western road has collapsed. Oh, and shit. surrounded on all sides by impassable swamp. All the dead soldiers were yours. How did this happen? Jane Cassandra's army was encamped in the swamp. I thought I'd catch her unaware. Sent her scrambling back to the spire. So I force marched out of Glitterdale, sighted the troops at the base of the cliffs, and gave chase. In the first charge, we drove half her forces into the bogs. I could see Jane, not fifty feet from my lines. She had nowhere to run. You smelled victory. And that's when the battle turned. Jane sent a few of her sappers round back of my lines. They collapsed the roads behind me. A clever move. I'll give her that. Hmm. Half my army. The young ones, mostly, saw their escape route cut off. Didn't matter, but we were winning. They panicked, broke and ran. Some of the veterans held their ground and died where they stood. The rest retreated here. Oh, shit. She boxed you in, with her forces on one side and the bogs on the other. Killed half my people with the cannons. The rest tried to flee into the bogs. <laughs> And drowned. Then she took her top off, and, and we had no kind of focus. Trapped in the swamp. What forces do you have left? Only the baggage train and a few cannons. One of my officers, Roderick, had command of the baggage train. He managed to keep the wagons out of sight, hid them under those massive roots. Unfortunately, the men who were guarding the wagons are my greenest troops, huh. former servants and the like. The only blades they've ever wielded are kitchen knives. Perfect. We'll teach them how to carve their opponents. <laughs> massive roots. We can walk across them like a road. Indeed, they support our weight, and my cannons and wagons too. But the roots are separated by stretches of water. Hmm. In order to create a path, we'd have to raise the land between them. Impossible, you might say. But I have a man in my army with power over earth and stone. A scholar called Phineas. If only he were here. This Phineas can raise a land bridge between the brutes? How is that possible? He's made a study of earth magic. Hmm. Geomancy. The old magic of the dwarves. It's all very incomplete, but a movement of earth by simple brute force Yes, I think he could manage that much. Hmm. You've actually seen Phineas use earth magic? 
when Jane's cannons had us surrounded. Somehow he drew the earth up over our heads, protected us both from the enemy's fire. Saved my life. Sweet. That's proof enough for me. We need to find this skull, Phineas. Where is he gone? He was among the first to be taken by the damned savages. They fell upon us not long after the battle, and they've been mounting raids and abducting our wounded ever since. First people. That's what the scholars called them. Huh. Only us and I know as they call themselves. I thought of mounting an attack on their village to rescue Phineas and the others. But my surviving soldiers are too few and too young. If I had your help, though... Let's try talking to the first people before we do anything rash. Maybe they mistook you for a threat. A reasonable theory, but I've met their kind before. Scavengers preying upon the weak and the wounded. They won't negotiate unless you hold a sword to their throats. I'll gather whatever men I can, the ones who can still fight, and we'll meet you there. Hmm. So we have to fight the first people, which is probably like native, you know, whoever the native people are in this area. Let's see, uh, what we have over here, looks like there's an optional quest, there's a store. I saw you speaking with the general. We must be in dire straits to rely on passers-by. But Lord Devon's here seen fit to trust you. You already know the savages <clears throat> in the bog. Beastly lot they are. Hmm. Some of our best soldiers were captured in their raids. Others have gone missing. We sent scouting parties into the bog. I armed them as best I could, but baggage train attendants are hardly soldiers. They haven't returned for hours. Oh, boy. The swamp is hardly a place for heavy wagons. Was your cargo worth the trouble? Hell yes! A month's supply of penthouse magazines! Cuban cigars! <laughs> and some beer, of course! If your people are raw recruits, they won't survive long in the swamp. Let me look for your missing soldiers. You surprise me. I can offer you a little more than some extra supplies. Surprise me, I thought you were an asshole. Look for them to the east, out in the bog. We sent out two scouting parties. Hopefully the swamp hasn't claimed them. Devonsy won't permit any more of us to leave camp, so you're the only chance they'll get. Alright, another quest assigned. What's this guy have at his store here? Thanks for clearing a safe path. Guess I'll set up shop. Shut up, I want to see what you had. I don't want to chat with you, you asshole. Alright, it doesn't look like he's got jack shit. What happened? I bought something? Fuck! I bought something by accident. Oops. Well, oh my god. Sec curse plate. Ten grand. Stamina plus 19. Vampire chaos plus 35, but a big negative to armor. And block is negative too. That's not a big deal, but... Uh, this is the guy I don't have yet. Phineas or whatever. This is all stuff for him. Yeah. Clasp of resilience. Should I buy her some guns? Yo, these guns are way better than what she has. They're not even that expensive either. Venomous sidearm of brutality. Musket of subdual. Gloves of resolve. Clasp of resilience. Before I buy anything, let me ch double check my equipment here. Let me make sure I haven't found anything that's better. Which I did, look. Alright, I definitely gotta get her a better shotgun. And there's the constable's hand cannon. Alright, so let's try that again. Your stockings, your stamina is down, but attack plus seven, armor plus seven, plus seventeen. Holy shit! I might want to do that. Stamina, armor, and block all up with the clasp of resilience. Will minus eight. I think I'm gonna buy her that. I think I'm gonna buy her the fear stockings. 
Uh, such an agility down there. 26, I can't do that. That's too much. The Venomous Sidearm of Brutality. Doom, Chaos, Poison Magic, Agility plus 15, but Attack minus 21. Nah. Sidearm of Life Stealing. Here you go. Scattergun of Blight. That's definite uh, a one I want to get. So let's equip her up. Let's save up. Here we go. Fear stockings. Scattergun of Blight. <laughs> you can see the stockings on her too. It's pretty funny. All right, let's uh, let's save and uh, get on to some missions here. Probably the side mission. I'll probably do that on the way to the main mission.